Hello, YouTube. Welcome to a new LP. Um, this is Devil May Cry 2 um, on the HD collection, which is why all three of these are here. Um, that's what I was playing through Devil May Cry 1 on. Uh, it's been a while since I've been here for Devil May Cry 2, but here we go. It gives me the option of Dante or Lucia. Um, so maybe there's two stories we'll play through. I'm gonna stick to Dante right now, um, because he was our main character in the first one, so he's probably the first one we should go through. Yeah, I'd like to continue. Let's do it. All right, nice close up on his face. Um, ooh, that's fun. Ooh, it's four by three. Um, so people, from my understanding, uh, Devil May Cry 2 is like the black sheep. Like, people don't like Devil May Cry 2. What are the intense gore scenes here? I don't get it. I'm also not quite sure what's happening. Ooh, she turned into an angel thing? Maybe Lucia was the better choice. Although, Dante's turning into a devil thing. There's a building colossus? I, I really have no idea what's going on. But honestly, I'm not sure what happened in the last game either. Let's be real. Cool. Oh, you're going to be small. All right. Let's see what we're doing, though. Um, I'm going to check the options first to make sure. Uh, okay, well, vibration and brightness are the only two options, so if there's no subtitles, that's what I'm stuck with. I'm going to turn my volume up a little more, just so I can hear it. I turned it down because it was loud. Um, but God, two notches is so much. Um, but here we go. I wonder if the game's actually going to be in HD. Oh, actually, yeah, they, it's 16 by 9 now. In a or, time long not really 16 by 9. But yeah, they put uh, subtitles on. In an age of darkness, when the earth was overrun with demons, and humans were powerless under their rule. Humanity's hope lived in a demon named Sparta. That's Dante's dad, if I remember correctly. Unlike any other, and wielding the sword that bore his own name, Sparta eradicated the demons. Well, except for that one, I guess. Those three. Well, his outfit's a little different than the first game. Oh, I'm going to shoot the girl. Oh, no, I'm not going to shoot the girl. So this is going to be like a conjoined thing where they go through the same story, you just pick who you play as. 
Until next time, son of Sparta. Maybe not. I love how it says ocean on the side. It doesn't say what ocean, it just said ocean. Here's mission one. Uh, to the North Hunter. Dark Blood will realize his destiny. Cool. I don't know what is going on, but I also don't know if I'm going to order these into missions like I did in the first one or what I'm going to do, but we'll see. Whoop. It's got a thing for falling in this one. Um, so is this a prequel? I think this is a prequel. It's a weird field of view thing that happens when I'm walking towards this door. Okay. So Y is attack. X is gun. Jump is A. I can roll with B. So that calls up my HUD. I can strafe? Okay. This is going to take some getting used to. Especially the Y is attack thing. Oop, I got a red orb! Yeah, I remember what those do. And there's one over here. This is weird field of view things that are happening, right? Like, it's not just me, right? It is weird that it's doing that. Let me look it through my menu here. Items. Ooh, Final Stars, Devil Stars, do Devil Tree. Yep. I'm remembering I'm remembering some of this. Um I can equip things. I get more swords, I guess, and these are my handguns. I thought they had names. Maybe they get names in other games. But I thought Dante's handguns had uh special names. This file. Oh, it's like a bestiary map. Okay, I think I'm going the right way then. I can save and... Okay. Okay. Um... Ooh, that's a actual pause menu. Okay, cool. Is it supposed to... Oh! Okay, I can't really see where I'm going, but... Oh, so I guess when I'm on a wall I can, like, super double jump. I don't remember. I don't know. I don't remember how the first game worked. This does look like the first game, though. I don't remember the first game, but I think this looks like the first game. Uh, one of the areas in it. Is this, is this a place? No. Ooh, there's something up here, though. The blue orb fragment. I don't remember what blue orbs do. I think they were like pieces of heart, maybe? What's back here? feel myself not surviving this, not, but I did. So it's very good I did. And a cutscene. Some mummified dudes. Alright. They died. They've been dead for a while. They're skeletons. They're gonna come to life, aren't they? They're skeletons in that metal armor. All right. Well, that seems to be doing all right. Can I just do this? <laughs> the game doesn't seem to have a problem with it. Cool. All right, I'll hit this guy with the sword just to switch it up. I don't. I didn't notice if he gives me more orbs if I kill him with a sword rather than guns. Maybe? I don't know. I don't like the pre-rendered... not pre-rendered, the... camera. The camera in this game sucks. The camera in the first game wasn't great either. But... Whatever. 
I can just gun everything down. I can't really, I mean, seeing as I can't really hit these guys with my sword easily. I don't see why not, why I can't just do this. I just want to get those orbs. Okay, that was simple enough. And I'm on the roofs. Is this like a weird city? Oh. And you're spawning close enough so I have to fight you with a sword. Although I don't have to fight you with a sword. I can still shoot you with guns. I just fought you with a sword anyway. Will I not have the guns out if the last attack I do with the sword? I won't. So that's interesting to see. So yeah, from my understanding, Devil May Cry 2 is, like, seen as the worst in the series. Um, until DMC came along anyway, because a lot of people don't like DMC. Um, and then people also didn't like... Uh, or no, they did like Devil May Cry 3. Devil May Cry 3 was, I think, the crowd favorite. But why am I locked onto that guy down there? Can I shoot him? No, I'm hitting the thing. That's alright. Oh, you can... what I get? So gold orbs save me if I die? Oh, he has buzz saws. for don't worry. Kim. Nothing's a challenge yet. I didn't get to pick a difficulty. So there just isn't difficulties in this game. Because oh. there were in the first one, and then I remember getting... Uh, I remember accidentally switching from normal to easy. And uh, someone getting mad at me in the comments for it. Alright. So, what is this? Such of a god that is controlling time. Oh, so this is where I can uh, upgrade my stuff. I'm gonna... I don't have enough to upgrade my handguns. I probably don't have enough to upgrade my sword either. Although, I really want to just upgrade the handguns, because they seem to be my best weapon. Oh, seems like it's going to be a little while before I upgrade any of them. Also, game, I saw the red orb up there, so I could have assumed that uh, I was going to have to go up here. Ooh. Those are new. And there's a lot of them. The PS2, I didn't know the PS2 could render all these. Although, I mean, they're pushovers. They seem to be pushovers anyway. You shoot them a bunch. I don't know why I, I said what I said. They are pushovers. <laughs> Especially the up. Oh, are they invisible? Or can, oh, he's behind the wall. There's a wall there. Or maybe he is invisible. They can't. They seem to be able to go invisible. Oh, whoa. Okay, stop that. Did not mean to do that. I'm, I'm just pressing my buttons. Still trying to get my bearings on this game. I wish I could swap gun and sword. Because I, I like to have my sword on X in these sort of games. X on the 360 controller, because I'm playing this on 360. 
So it would be square on a PS3 controller, or 4 controller, or any PlayStation controller. Yeah, this isn't challenging. I'm a fan of the auto lock because I can't see the enemies when they're just off screen in the camera angle that they're giving me. So I can't run over and uh, slash them. What is that? The key! Okay, so that'll open this. Cool. Maybe I can go through this door? I can! He says late. Okay. Okay, okay. Get a little bit of red orbs. One red orb each. For breaking these things. I don't think... Can I break this chimney? No. I don't think breaking these little chimneys is worth it if it's only giving you one red orb each. Oh, this ground looks different. Can't slam through it or anything, though. So, oh well. Whoa! So, if I roll into a wall, or while I'm running up... What? How did I do that? I pressed B as I was running up this way. And I just did a cool... Okay, so if there's enough, enough wall in my way... I can do it, I guess. And if there's not, then I can't. I should look up if there's something different between Dante and Lucia. Is Lucia? Was that her name? I think that was her name. Uh, Dante and Lucia's playthroughs. Oh! Well. Yikes. That was a thing. I love how, like, Shitty that looked. <laughs> cool, mission cleared. Rank B, I'll take it. Rank B isn't bad. Ooh! Nice. Um, I'm gonna save and then we can go to the next one. So I'm in normal. I didn't get that achieve. Oh, what is happening? My controller was going. Uh, what, what happened? My controller just went... Blah, blah, blah. Um, cool, though. Cool. Normal is what I'd want to play on, so 